this demonstration we're going to have a look at how we can evaluate and manage dynamic access control. So the first thing we're going to do here in an earlier demo what we did is we created this group policy called DAC protected and what we did with this DAC protected group policy is we applied that against LonServe1 which is a member of our DAC protected organizational unit. We then used that to apply some central policies out to our file server. So what we want to do here is we actually just want to audit that in order to ensure that it is up and running and that we have done it correctly. So what we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to edit our group policy. That's then going to launch up our group policy management editor. Next thing we're going to do here is we're just going to come through here and we're just going to have a look at our policies. We're then going to come to Windows settings. Then we're going to come to security settings. And then within security settings, what we're looking for here is our advanced audit policy. We'll expand up our audit policies. And that will then show us a list of the audit policies we have in place. So what we're going to have a look at here, because Dynamic Access Control protects, in our case, our file system, what we're going to do is we're just going to look down here and go to Object Access. Then the next thing we'll do here is we'll just go for Audit Central Access Policy Staging. And what we want to do here is we just actually want to do something with this. So we will configure the following audit events. So we'll have a look at success and we'll also have a look at failure as well. So now that we've done all of that, we'll just select OK. So now what we've done is we've set up auditing on our central access policy. What we can also do as well is if we're not happy with the policies we've got in place, we do have the ability to go in and actually modify those policies. So if we just close down our group policy management editor, if we just close down our group policy management, if we then just come to our tools at the top here, and what we'll do is we'll go into our Active Directory Admin Center where we manage dynamic access control. So we'll click on dynamic access control. And what we want to do here is we just want to come in here and we just want to look at some central access rules. So if we just double click on our central access rules, we'll right click on department match. And what we can do here is we can have a look at the properties. So let's go for the properties. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to scroll down a little bit. We're going to come down to our proposed permissions down at the bottom here. And what we'll do at this point here is we'll select edit. We'll go for our authenticated users and select edit. And what we want to do here is we just want to change this condition. Then what we want to do is we just want to modify this condition. So let's just modify it. And we're just going to modify it to say user company department equals value and then marketing. So at this point here, we'll just select OK. OK again. And then OK again. So the next thing to do here is to just go over to our LonServe 1 and all we'll do here is we'll just modify our group policy. That will then apply the audit and it will also as well allow us to go in and verify that we have configured everything correctly and in order to ensure that we have got dynamic access control enabled within our company. So on LonServe 1, within here we'll just go to PowerShell Then all we'll do is we'll just do a GP update and then forward slash force. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.